I am set with my antibiotics. My home health care nurse just came and left. Well, hello everybody, Anna here. I am set with my antibiotics. My home health care nurse just came and left and she was fantastic. This is an actual IV drip, which I've had many of these, obviously. You've seen me with my ringers and I've had many IV antibiotics. That's what I do is gravity. But the last two times I used um, IV cefepime, which is the same medication that I'm getting now, it was pre-mixed. So it was in um, the form of a push IV. So it was like this big wide syringe and it was just full of this yellow um, medication. And I, you just hook it up and you just slowly push it over five minutes. So that's how that was. And now I have this right here, the bag with the powder comes in this little guy right here. And then it's just a um, hundred milliliter bag. And the most amazing thing, cause normally what I do is I use this guy and I count and one 1,000, two 1,000, or however fast. And I have never used one of these before. I've seen them, but I've never used one before. And it's this, let's see if it'll focus. There we go, it's kind of focusing. There we go. So basically, the prescription on the medication on that bag up there tells you what number to set it to because that's gonna tell you how many minutes it's going to infuse over. And so this one infuses over 30 minutes. And then this just basically sets the um, time for how many drips per hour, which is insanely amazing because like, I, I just, I was just excited to have that because even with my other IV antibiotics, I would have to count. You know, it'd be like over a half hour, but I would have to count, you know, one 1,000, two 1,000 type of a deal. And so I'm hooked up right now. And over here, let me just show you another really exciting thing is that they actually gave me a Sharps box. A Sharps box. Finally, it's so cool because... For some of my other medications that I've done before um, with my IV antibiotics with Lyme, they had to be drawn up and used needles. And so I've just kept like a random little box so I don't have an actual Sharps box. So now I feel so legit. So I'm really excited to transfer those over to there. And then we just have a bunch of like heparin, saline, um, like random dressing stuff. And this is all the antibiotics in here. What the dealio is, is that I now have an appointment with my um, infectious disease specialist on Monday, Monday morning. Um, I had to make that appointment yesterday for some reason. I guess she wants to see me after this is all done. Um, just to talk through it or something like that. So I have this evening dose and then I have I have 10 doses total so that means that I will have a dose Monday morning and then I will go see her and we'll go from there and then when I was talking to my nurse today who was just here um, she was mentioning maybe they'll do something with my tube and like culture my tube or something and I was thinking that is such a brilliant idea if they could do that 
Um, so I'm thinking of calling my ID doctor tomorrow and just seeing if that's something like she can order or if that's something she's planning on doing or something like that. Cause that would even give us an idea of, okay, it was coming from the tube or okay, it's not coming from the tube. We have to figure something else out. And like, we really need to get some other antibiotics in there. We need to reculture my wound or whatever. So that could give us a little more information. So maybe we'll see. It depends on what she thinks, um, if that'll be helpful at all or not. But like I said, it's, it's fun to be like, I'm finally using this really fun contraption. <laughs> it's really awesome. I don't have to count my one one thousand, two one thousands. <laughs> so, in case you can't tell, we're gonna show. In case you can't even tell what that is, this is popcorn. So the reason that <laughs> they had, first of all, a big adventure making Polly use popcorn. <laughs> so it is. It is self popped, but in a. In a and you're horrible <laughs> pop me. Pop me. It's as old as time and it's like broken, half like physically like cracked, the little topper thing. And then it was like making weird sounds and it was smelling really weird. <laughs> but, it it, tastes <laughs> fine. but it tastes fine. <laughs> it just took way her, longer. My aunt oil on it because she can't eat the oil. So hers has been water. sprayed with water and then it has the salt on so that it sticks. Because here's the deal. My though. idea. <coughs> I advise her not to inhale popcorn, so I'll advise myself. Do not inhale popcorn. It's the worst idea did. ever. <laughs> she already did. Um, so the reason that I'm eating popcorn is because I am determined to figure out this. Um, hey, let's go to the bathroom, please. Um, I'm, we're like, I've thought about this before, like my diet doesn't have any fiber, my diet doesn't have like these things, and fiber is actually really hard on my stomach, but was like trying to find the lightest fibers, or the lightest food to go along with the fiber, because obviously something like an apple would be perfect, but putting a raw food on my stomach, you would die. It would hurt so badly. So I'd be really grumpy. Yeah, exactly. When I die, after I died, I'd be really grumpy. <laughs> <laughs> I had tried some popcorn a um, couple weeks ago. But it was store bought. Popcorn. But it was yeah, it was, and it was like totally natural. Like nothing was added. There was no cheese. There was nothing. But we had forgotten like the fat content of it. And I was like looking, and Emma and I were talking about like fibrous foods, and like we know popcorn is a fibrous food, and since corn is technically a grain, so it's like carbs, which are easy to digest. They're just fluffy carbs. Yeah. Ha! Fluffy! <laughs> Literally, they're popped, they're fluffy. <laughs> That's what I meant! They're also fluffy in the sense that they don't really hold you long. For me that's my life but anyway um so i'm eating on camera and that is so rude but whatever sorry guys that's life hashtag real life why is yours so much lighter hers is like white and mine is like wait hold yours up to wait mine's like yellow whoa that is really weird i thought it might have been light but it's not I don't know. Did it's fun. It? Tastes really good. So, the last time I had the popcorn, my stomach got so huge and I was in so much pain. And this time, some coconut oil. Yeah, had some coconut oil on it. So, this. Oh my word! It was so funny. And my parents are like having this like meet, not this meeting, but like sort of, yeah, you know, where your parents have like a meeting. And Emma and I are just dying of laughter, <laughs> like, they're in the kitchenette, and we're, my dad's like, can you tone it down over there? I'm surprised I didn't say that to us earlier, sooner. And we were and like, we're being really loud. And so we finished up salting Emma's in the bed, and we were like, I'm leaving. <laughs> <laughs>
I was like, well, I haven't really vlogged all day very much. And so she's like, oh, we should have had the downstairs when we were doing our craziness. And I'm like, well, we can sit here and tell them. But you guys are probably like, ha, ha, that sounds hilarious. Got a lot of salt there. Oh, man, that was salty. I really hope they caught your face. Oh. <laughs> it's like if someone has not mixed the batter in like a, in bread or in anything really well. And then all of a sudden you get a pocket of like baking soda oh, or man, baking I <laughs> Actually, you Actually, no, that's worse. Yeah. She's currently drinking out of my water bottle, which I just built from downstairs. <coughs> well then, both Emmy and I are going to say um, goodbye along with our popcorn bowls because... You've been eating more, I've been, well, I had more to begin with. You were talking. I was talking. I talk, I love to talk. I laugh. We laughed, oh my word, my stomach is so tired. Moving on. We are going to say goodnight. Good night. And we will see you super soon, and bye. Bye.